Oh my gosh! I'm so excited. This is my first ever vlog. Um, if you've been following me, you know that I just launched my blog and I just did my first blog post. Super exciting. I have never done a vlog before, so this should be interesting. I have lots of things throughout the video. I asked you guys what you wanted. You wanted beach waves. I have the perfect beach waves for you guys. Um, I'm going to tell you my technique, what I do, but if you want to know my secret, you have to watch till the end and I'll show you how to perfect your beach wave. So let's get started. I use the Lange 32mm wand. I seen that they came out with new ones that you can put at the, um, they have black thing at the end so you can um, hold on to it if you need that. I don't, I like this style. It works for me, might work for you. So I've sectioned my hair into two sides. I have very thick hair. Um, so you, a lot of people will do like the half up, half down. I don't do that. And the reason why is because even if you have thick hair, my beach waves that you want, you don't do that. So I'm going to show you why right now. So I'm going to go in and go up. So I have this first chunk of hair. You can tell that I went up. And here's why, because to create the perfect beach wave, I'm gonna put this down and just wrap it around. As you can tell, I have layers. So if they don't go around, that's okay. I actually like that. And then I hold the end off a little bit. Okay, so now I just have one little wave. It's amazing. So now I'm gonna go behind my ear and go up. I want these long pieces, these long pieces right here, because that's what gives my hair the um, the wave that I want. If you hear my kid, I apologize in advance. He is um, going down for a nap with his dad, so that's fun. And then I just kind of unroll Keep rolling, and there you go. I'm gonna do this to my entire head, and um, I just let my hair air dry. I don't didn't blow dry it or anything, and I don't blow dry it just because I don't have to. Like I said, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I get the luxury of just letting it air dry. If you can let it air dry, I recommend that because it's just less damaging to your hair. You can already see the um, the waves and how perfect they are looking. It, this is because of the long um, peak trunks that I'm doing. And this um, wand is, like I said, wand. It's amazing. It is one of my favorites that I've ever used. I've used a bunch of them. And I love that. I have never used the Bombay one, which has been on my radar for a little bit. I might invest. If you guys have a Bombay, let me know what you think of it. Because obviously I don't want to get it if you don't like it. So again, these are long, long chunks. Because when they fall, you're going to get more dimension in them. I am also use good shampoo and conditioner. I never realized how important that was, um, but it is very important. I used to just get shampoo from good old Walmart or Target, and I no longer do that, and my best friend told me the importance of the long, um, just ch taking care of your hair with good shampoo and conditioner is very important. Sorry, I don't know why my 
lighting is doing that. It's not focusing very well. But it is showing you that I'm just, my hair, ooh, the shine girls. Um, also, I go, I rotate away from my hair on every strand. I know a lot of people rotate every other one. And depending on what look I'm going for, sometimes I do do that. But in this particular video, I'm not because my favorite beach waves, I don't do that. See, you can already see from the, the length of the long chunks. Again, I go, I don't separate my hair out in here, here, and then length. I go lengthwise as in my scalp. So I take big, long links. That is one of the keys to getting great beach waves. The other, I can't wait to sh tell you when I get it all finished, what I do at the end that makes such a difference, such a difference. And, um, also, I um, hardly ever blow dry my hair. Like I said, if you can do that, do that. Because that I think that's so important. Um, I don't really use hardly any product on my hair beforehand. Just because my hair is used to being curled. And it just holds this style. Because, again, I've done it so many times that it just as used to it um if your hair isn't used to you're like oh it never holds curl it won't do the cute beach waves that i want it just takes practice and time your hair just not used to it um also if you have super thick hair i have super thick hair um but i also have a very unique haircut which i'm going to tell you about in a minute um but if you have super thick hair, getting it thinned regularly will help with the hold in curls as well. Um, I get mine thinned probably every five to six months, at just as needed if I need it more. That's the good thing with having a best friend that does hair. She can just do it whenever. Um, also, when I curl my hair, it's so important that you keep the, the strands straight. You don't twist them while you're doing it. So watch. I'm going to place it around and then I keep it straight. Still straight. Still keeping it straight. That is so important. I like my ends to be a little bit curled, but not much. I still like the straight. See? I still like that look. So as you can see, here is one side. Literally takes no time at all. And this side, every side of hair, again, I'm gonna go away from the face and keep wrapping with my hands. I'm gonna pull my fingers like that so my hair can stay straight. I don't want it twisted. A lot of people twist it that's why you're not getting that perfect beach wave. You need to keep it straight, your hair straight. Don't twist, don't twist. Um, see how at the ends it's straight? I love that, that's what I want. I also, um, like I said, go straight up in, so look at how thick. That's like from behind my ear all the way to the top of my part. Which if, um, if you have a middle part or anything, I really, I wish I could pull off a middle part because it's so cute. I just can't. But I do like that um, you can just wave these by your face, the pieces by your face to just wave back. So cute with this beach look. See, you guys, you are going to love this look I um also again wrap and wrap 
leave the ends out. If a piece like that falls out, I don't mind it because I like kind of the, um, hmm, the messy look. I, this is the messy, like, beach wave look. I like that look. That's what I'm going for here. If you don't like it, that's fine. Just clean it up. I have very interesting haircut, which I'm just about to tell you about. But, so it is harder for me to get all those layers in. So, my best friend, as I said, is a hairdresser. Well, she stays at home. She's a stay-at-home mom, but she's a hairdresser. And she does a very select few people's hair. If you're one of those people, you're pretty lucky. So, uh, she does this haircut. It is the wildest thing. It is, she separates your hair into three pieces. So, three sections. So, this the back and then this and she just tethers it to a v so i have lots of layers and looks and i love that it is so interesting and not many people know how to do it she does she does so good i um also if you're following me you know that I love juicing, juices, all the things, all the things I love. And I'm so surprised that you guys love all of those things. I've got so many requests for juicing. I never thought people were like into that. So we're going to do a vlog over juicing. You have to go follow my pages. You can like, comment, share, share, share share oh my gosh you guys look so now i just go in again i'm not one for a lot of products i don't like a lot of products in my hair as my hair gets dirtier i do use a dry shampoo and sometimes i use a texturizing spray which is the not your mother's i like their stuff it's pretty good and it's on the cheaper side you can get this at target and I also think Walmart sells it as well. This is a texturizing spray. It's a double take. I like the Beach Babe texturizing spray. Um, I just don't use it because my hair just doesn't need it. It holds the curls. So now I'm going to show you the trick. The trick to getting them messy and fun. So I'm just going to go in, do this to my hair. Okay, do you guys see that? Okay, here's the secret tool that you need. This is the, the one. You don't need this and you don't need this. If you use those things, that's okay too, but just I, my personal preference, I don't like it as much. So I'm gonna go in the back of my hair and kind of do a circle shape and just get this up so i love big sexy it's been around it's the bomb it holds my hair the best okay and i'm gonna start up here my hair is so long so and i just go in like maybe a few times you start up here and work your way down and then i don't like a big poof i just like some body back there oh do you guys see how pretty that is Okay, here's the other trick for the sides. I'm going to go in pretty deep in, so I have a lot of hair. This is my thicker side. On my thin side, I don't do as much hair, but on my thicker side, I'm gonna do this. Spray, and then I'm gonna go up, start up here, and just go down twice, that's it. You guys, that is all you need. You don't need a lot. And then if I don't like it as much, I just pull it out. And then it just gives me this volume. Oh, <whistles> girls, I'm into it. Okay, now on my thin side, it's not near as thick over here because I have my part, obviously. So, I spray just a little bit. Again, my hair holds pretty well and just 
a little. If you have that rattiness, just get it out. Okay, so here is the trick. You take halfway in and you pull that up. Do you see how much difference? Look at how the waves, you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in over here and do the same. And I just go down and kind of do the same. On both sides, I'm just gonna scrunch it. I like to just spray my hair back just a little bit. Now, that is a beach wave, okay? You can spray if you need to. I am going to just because I have a long night with my kids. We've got stuff going on, of course, like always. And then I'm gonna take my hand, another secret, and do this. I don't want them to be the same. So I'm gonna do this and pull them through and then pull up. And there you have it, okay? You can do this literally with anything. And it's so simple and it's so cute. Look at my ends, they're still I'll turn around and show you the back. It is to die for. Okay. Oh, there is my first tutorial of the perfect beach waves. Now, if you like it, go to my Instagram at Lifestyle by Simone and follow. If you have any suggestions for my future that you want to see in the future, anything you want to see in the future, please DM me, comment underneath this. Let me know. Like, comment, share, and go follow. <gasps> Bye. Mwah.